what is going on you guys welcome back to another battlefield 2042 video today we're going to be playing one of the most chaotic modes you're going to see in battlefield 2042 yes we're talking about chaos rush you guys this mode is one of the most chaotic and most exciting modes in battlefield 2042 if you guys are looking for having so much fun and just seeing nothing but chaos and destructions and bullets flying all over the place you definitely want to try this mode now obviously we already know this mode was dropped friday today is monday obviously now i already made this video sunday afternoon so i'm not sure if this mode is still available if it is you guys definitely want to try it one more time before it actually goes away you guys already know these modes only are there for the weekend and i think sometimes they stay there for monday a little bit on monday and after that they kind of disappear so if it's still available i'm not sure if it's still available but if it's not then you guys want to make sure you guys stay you know stay connected stay put to battlefield 2042 so next time they release it you definitely want to keep in mind to play this mode you guys so like i said if it's not available right now go ahead and wait for it next time because as you can see right here on this gameplay you guys it's literally so many players on both sides you guys and you're gonna be having so much fun just because it's so chaotic it's a straight out war zone like not war zone like call of duty i keep emphasizing every time i mention war so people thinking i'm talking about call of duty war zone no i'm just talking about war zone as far as like a war zone like like definitely like you in a battlefield and it's nothing but destructions bullets flying all over the place and people just bodies just dropping left and right so today we're going to be using the dm7 marksman rifle now as you guys can see this is basically a dmr you guys if you guys know what the dmr is now also the intro as you guys see that was actually my first gameplay playing rush extra large but it was too chaotic so i wanted to go ahead and drop a second gameplay for you guys so anyway man the dmr is definitely one of the best weapons to use at least on this map because it's going to be a lot of long range fighting on this map using a regular ar kind of get kind of tricky just because i mean you got a certain amount of rounds you got what some weapons got 40 rounds some got 35 or whatever and then you can't really miss and then if you if you get two three shots and they're not dead they pretty much gonna like kind of go down at least with the dmr uh dmr dmr7 you're gonna draw bodies so quick because you need one headshot or maybe two headshots if not one body shot one headshot and then the body drops so this weapon is definitely one of the best weapons to use in this mode. you can see right there the dm7 you guys i don't know why i call it dmr the dm7 uh basically drops bodies so quick so anyway man i hope you guys enjoy this gameplay let me know if you guys and if, if you guys did play this mode let me know if you guys enjoy playing this mode over the weekend like i said this is one of the most crazy modes you're gonna see on any actually any shooting game i mean i don't think we have too many shooting games that have six to four players on both sides i mean call of duty you know i think the most is 32 versus 32 unless you want to play warzone but even when you do play warzone you will never see this type of chaos in one match because typically you only going up against a squad if anything you third party somebody whatever it gets a little chaotic but it's not in this level where you got tanks missiles rpgs i mean bullets flying everywhere smoke grenades i like i actually like throwing smoke grenades as well just because smoke grenades uh give you a level of cover which is actually pretty cool so you want to use smoke grenades if you have that specific operator uh engineer is a really good operator to use um also if you if you use a soul um depending on the map so you can get around using the glide uh the zip line i like doing the zip line with the engineer uh, just because I'm able to mentor real quick and get to locations, especially if you don't have a lot of places you can jump. But anyway, man, the DM7 um, is definitely OP weapon, you guys. It's one of my favorites. One or two shots. Look at this guy right here, man. As long as you get the shots, man, as long as you hit your shots, you, you should be able to get that kill. But like I said, man, this mode is chaotic, man. I wish they can actually just keep it permanent, man. This Look at these people running right here, man. I wish they can keep this mode permanent. This mode is it needs to be permanent just because it's so amazing. Now it's not that much of a difference where you're talking about rush extra large and uh, rush chaos. It's about the same thing. I think that I think the different might be the rush extra large. I think that one might have vehicles like everywhere. And chaos rush is you don't really see that many vehicles on this one. It's more like you know foot you know boots on the ground come back things like that but you don't really see like a lot of 
vehicles. I think Rush Extra Large. I think that's. I think that one is might actually be a little more chaotic, just because I think that one got jets, tanks, helicopters. Pretty got. It pretty much got the whole the whole deal, and it becomes a lot more chaotic. But this map right here, this map is a is a good map to actually play this mode. Also, the first map that you saw in the intro is another good map to actually play just because a lot of the buildings are destructible. On this one, you don't really see a lot of buildings being destructible, but it's a lot open, so you're able to like actually do some, some really good things in here because as long as you got a DM7 slash DMR, that's what I call it, you can, you know, shoot from a distance. You don't have to run and gun and expect to be down a whole lot. Unless you get sniped. I mean, from a distance, you might get sniped and whatnot. But anyway, man, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this mode. Is this one of your favorite modes? And if you did try the mode, do you guys have fun doing the weekend? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss my future video. We got another video coming up soon, so stay tuned for probably later on this afternoon or tomorrow morning. But anyway, see you guys next time on the next one. Let's get it. Explosives out. Okay, wait for the bang. Explosives planted. Attack that objective. All the objectives destroyed. We now control the sector. Oh, 
disarmed. Shoot any tango who gets near them. I need some med supplies. Enemy is bugging out. We've won. 